25 years ago this month, tensions between Rwanda's two main ethnic groups, the Hutus and the Tutsis, exploded. The assassination of the Hutu president led to 100 days of genocide. Over 800,000 people, mostly minority Tutsis, were massacred. Eric Murangwa was one of Rwanda's top footballers at the time. He was his nation's goalkeeper and a Tutsi. What really happened in 1994, once the, the genocide started on, on April 7th, the whole country uh, went mad. Uh, people uh, started killing the, their friends, their neighbors, and it was really hard to find an, anywhere to hide or even to find anyone to, to help you when, you when you needed that help. I went to my teammate's house, uh, who lived about a mile away from where my flat was. And uh, I, I still don't know why I made the decision to go there. And it turned out to be probably the best decision I've ever made. Uh, my teammates went out of their way to really do everything they could to try and um, uh, keep me away from, from the, 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 the obvious troubles that, that were coming to me. Thanks to the courage shown by his Hutu teammates, Eric survived the genocide in the African nation. But he never played football again. He moved to the UK in 1997, and 13 years later, Eric founded an organization that uses football and storytelling to build unity, tolerance, and lasting peace in his homeland and beyond. I wanted to use my experience of, of surviving the genocide um, in a way that would uh, help younger people to understand why sport is more than just what we normally see it for, which is fun and leisure. Because in that moment of need, the power of sport basically saved my life. Eric's organization is called the Ishami Foundation. Working with communities and schools, the project encourages young people to play the beautiful game. Transworld Sport headed to the Nyanza district of southern Rwanda, where a community football session was in full swing under the watchful eye of coach Habimana. You see that most of the kids, most of the people they like, they like football. They watch football, they play football in the streets, in the, on the field. That's why we think, we believe that football can be a best tool for us to give our message. So because football is very famous in Rwanda and in the world, that's why we believe that football can be used to give the community impact messages. The sessions consist of various drills and games which aim to foster teamwork and respect. The Ishami Foundation works closely with the UK and US charity Coaches Across Continents, which has helped to train hundreds of football coaches across Rwanda. I mean coaching because I want to help the girls. The girls need to have confidence. That's why I really like to be in coaching of young kids. Oscar Iragana is a former Rwandan national team footballer. As a qualified community impact football coach, she dedicates her time training the next generation of female players. Today, women's football is more culturally accepted here, but there's still a long way to go. Girls traditionally in our society are not necessarily uh, allowed to come out and take a place in such a public activities. So we've done it deliberately to make sure that there are more girls coming to play football because we want them to feel part of everyday um, uh, life in, in the community, in the society. Not all girls, they have even sports shoes, sports wear, but in the beginning, they. Most of all, they came with no shoes, no sportswear. But now we, we invited the parents, then we spoke to them. So if you can 
afford maybe one sportswear to your boy, why not your girl? Many years ago, no girls, no woman can come on field and do anything because they think that the women and girls, they have nothing to do. But nowadays we have voice. I can tell them, you can, as other, even the boys do. If we come here for praying, do as, do with confidence. Try to learn and show them that you can. From zero to hero, you can. Through storytelling and goal scoring, the Ishami Foundation is helping to bring Rwandans together, building a new nation, 25 years on from the genocide. Genocide is a very complex topic to talk about, to, to think about. If you're going to help young people, 10, 12, 13 years old, to really understand, because it's very, very important for them to understand it, uh, then you have to find you know, a way that they can uh, understand it without being you know, troubled that much. When we do it on football field, it tends to make more impact. Football, I love the skills of football and the goals and the matches in the Premier League. I've loved football ever since I was little. People used to tell me football isn't for women, but I won't stop chasing my dream of one day playing at a professional level.